Hey everybody, we're truck camping in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We visit the Outer Banks National Seashore, Pea Island Nature Preserve, and entertain guests inside our truck camper. I don't know what it is. I'm glad I wore my boots. So. If you come to Oregon Inlet and you go walking on the dunes, just make sure you got on some appropriate shoes. Well, we made it to Oregon Inlet. And typical to Trina and my camping experiences, it's always raining the first day. We got set up in the rain. It's supposed to clear out here in the next hour. Well, we made it. Yeah, well, we, we made, made it, it to the beach. We made it. Rain's supposed to clear up here shortly, so um, hopefully it'll get pretty and maybe we can do some stuff outside and maybe walk on the dunes over there tomorrow. Okay. Maybe we can ride the motorcycle some. Uh, I may take the motorcycle on the beach. <laughs> After getting settled in for the night, Trina and I played a couple of hands of rummy where she thought she could beat me. Now you know I let you in. Good morning from the Outer Banks, North Carolina. We didn't quite catch the sunrise, but we do have a beautiful panoramic view this morning. Just beyond the dunes is the beach. We're going to start out with a cup of coffee this morning. And some overnight oats. How are they? They're delicious. Haven't had them in a while, have we? Mm -mm. Now, I crushed mine up this time. You want to try these? It's going to have the same flavor. Same flavor, just different. Um, what do you call it? Consistency. Mm -hmm. It was such a beautiful morning, we went for a short hike over the dunes to the beach. Briars. You get in those and it's gonna hurt. Got little pricklies. Got we got one. Play with fire. You get burned. Boy, you can have that back. Would you bring the truck camper on here? Hmm. I don't know. Looks kind of soft, don't it? Yeah. I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't, but I'd probably be a nervous wreck. Obviously, it's probably not as heavy as a truck camper, but it looks awfully soft. Probably too soft for the weight we'd be carrying. The question is, is, would you ride your motorcycle on here? No. Nah. No? Nah. No. Nah. Too soft. I'm sure it's been done, but I just, I don't know that I would want to do it. Because that's your house. We 
enjoyed sitting in our portable tea sack chairs on the beach. We have a separate video of our review for those chairs in our playlist. And if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, our affiliate link is in the description below and you'll get a special discount. This is a natural seashore. You can drive on it, but you have to have a special permit. Pretty sure you have to have a permit to drive on it? Or is it the bonfire? It's the fire. The fire. What are you doing? Turn the back there, on. I got to show this. What? Turn around. So I was fixing to go in the camper to use the restroom. I put my foot up there. You see that? What is that? What is it? <laughs> A cactus? Probably. I'm yeah. scared to touch it. I'll get it. I'm glad I wore my boots, so I just think if I'd have had on uh, open-toed shoes or sandals. Here, you going to pull it out? I am going to pull it out for you. If you come to Oregon Inlet and you go walking on the dunes, just make sure you got on some appropriate shoes. I'm guessing that's some form of cactus. And if anybody might know... Comment below. Yeah, leave it in the comments. Because it looks kind of scurry. I'm going to go put it back where it goes. How do you know where I got it from? <laughs> because you got it from off that trail right there. Mm -hmm. I put her back. Going in the store? Yeah. You gonna try to buy a, buy a patch? I don't know. It says that this is a national wildlife refuge, so I'm not sure if it would be part of the National Park Service. It's standing on. Yeah. So I bought a book of, it's a blue 
goose passport. For wildlife refuges. Mm -hmm. And like right now we're at Pea Island. So you can get a stamp. Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge. And I didn't realize that there's so many in North Carolina. While we were checking out the Rodanthe house, it started getting cold. So when we made our way back to camp, we traded our motorcycles for the truck and headed back out. Today, I don't know. We've come here before, never. <laughs> White House at Nags Head, the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And it is cold. It would be so bad, but it's very windy today. And that wind coming off the ocean, oh, it's cold. So we'll, we'll try to do our best to video. Apparently we will not be climbing the lighthouse house today. It's closed. Closed for the season. Yes. It resumes in April. So if you want to climb it, you'll have to come during season and season starts again in April. This is This is a national weather advisory. It is rough at the Outer Banks, Oregon Inlet. Oh wait, I have two witnesses I'll interview. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Hey, this is the Ox and the Fox. What do you think about the weather at Oregon Inlet today? Uh. I think it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wind. Yeah, it's, it's pretty windy. A lot of wind, huh? 
Yeah. yeah. Is that your son? Yes. Yeah. He seems to be enjoying it though. Yeah. They don't they don't make them like that anymore. Young kids, they can run and tolerate anything. This is my niece Morgan. And that's our nephew, Levi. They live in Columbia, North Carolina. Which is about 40 minutes from where we are. So they came up to visit this evening and eat supper with us. They came walking down here on the beach. And you can see me, I'm bundled up. My nose is like Rudolph. What about you, babe? It's cold. Yeah. What about um, coming out and starting the fire on the beach tonight? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Yeah. It, it felt great today. We we're out on the beach earlier. It's about 50 some degrees. It wasn't that bad. Now the wind's blowing. I think it's probably around 40 so. It's yeah. pretty cold. Water's looking rough too. Yep. And I doubt we get a sunset tonight. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. Yeah. Let's can see what these two knuckleheads are doing. Like a wipeout. <laughs> oh, you done? You done? I was going to film you drifting. Drift, drift. Drift. Oh. Drift. Now, let me tell you, we were at the gas station earlier and he was so excited about getting a milkshake. He went in there, grabbed it, put it in the thing, and he looked at me and started. Doing all this and going crazy. Uh -huh. He didn't know there was an older woman standing next to him watching. And she looked at me, she said, Here, he's got the moves. I was like, yeah, he's excited about that milkshake. <laughs> Leave our face to Lucy Bill as she was there. Let's do this. And he stopped. And he so we got some company tonight. Our niece Morgan and her son have came to visit us. They stay close to where we're staying at in the Outer Banks. And Trina's cooking some supper tonight. <laughs> what you got going on in there, girls? <laughs> cooking. Chili. We got the juice. <laughs> Come on! We got the juice. It's nice and juicy. So we got plenty of room in our camper? Yeah. It's cozy. It smells good. You might want to turn that fan on. Well, I, I had it on, but you were recording, so I was like, well, I got to hear what you're saying. A little bit of mushrooms. Too bad we're not doing a cooking video tonight. No, we're doing tonight. What are you going to cook tonight? I'm doing Japanese rice with shrimp and chicken, mushrooms. Corn! You know I'm not cutting out the corn, right? Oh, I got it. If you don't want to make the rice, like uh, have to sit there and boil it and all that, you know this, just for future reference, uh -huh. they got the little microwave bags, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You get the Bosch Mati kind, and that's how I make my like fried rice. Yeah? Yep. That's how I make my pokey bowls. I started using on jasmine rice. You ever ate that? Do that again. Huh? Do it again. <laughs> what kind of dance is that? That's good. What so is? What is that Japanese rice. What's in this Japanese rice? Jasmine rice. Mushrooms. Corn. Because it has the juice. Chicken, <laughs> shrimp. Soy sauce and a secret ingredient. Oh. So what are you what are you cooking tomorrow night? Tuscana soup. So tomorrow night we're cooking Tuscana soup. Yep. All right. Check out our upcoming video. 
where we continue exploring the Outer Banks, cook Tuscana soup, and visit the Wright Brothers National Memorial. Thanks for watching!